A fruit platter can be a beautiful and delicious way to get your party started. Do you break into a sweat with even the thought of having company? I'm here to help. After trying just a few of my hosting tips, you'll be more than ready to say, come on over. Let's put together a fruit tray. Now, you might notice I've sort of already mostly put this together, but I wanna talk about the first part of it, and that is the actual platter you use for fruit. So unlike a charcuterie board that has meat and cheeses and fruit on it, it is usually a board, which means it's porous, and any fruit you put on there, like a strawberry or a raspberry or blackberry, there's good potential it's going to stain that board. So you wanna go for something that not only won't stain, but help keep your fruit cool. And that would be glass or marble. Now this marble is stunningly beautiful. It's very heavy. And I'm not using it in this instance because I wanted to use something with a lip. Cause I love my lip. You can see there's a lip on this glass tray. Not only does it help keep in any juiciness that might be forming, but it'll also help things not roll off the plate as you're moving it. And believe me, that has happened to me more times than I would like to admit. So I finally found a lipped glass tray and I'm using that. In addition, I'm using a footed dish. A footed dish is great for any sort of tray situation because it creates height, it showcases something, and in this case, these mandarin oranges are super juicy. So I didn't want that orange juice mingling in with cheese and chocolate and other fruits necessarily. I let it have its own bowl. So I started out doing just a wonderful pinwheel of oranges and you can get your own mandarin oranges. You can peel them and you can have them fresh. I never do that. Why? It takes too much time. I just get a jar of mandarin oranges that someone has already very thoughtfully cleaned up for me. And then I just keep putting them in a beautiful sort of flower petal design. And yes, that can take a little bit of time. Pop in a movie or your favorite HGTV show and just make a nice circle. What the, how the, a perfect circle. On top of that, I will either put blueberries, which are a wonderful little pop of color, or if I have a super good sized blackberry, I might pop that in. In this case, I'm kind of liking the blackberry, aren't you? I'll have these later. So I'm gonna put this blackberry right in the middle. Maybe I'll even do a few of them. So if somebody sees one and they just wanna have it, but they don't wanna take the only one, there you go. Maybe four, why not? Isn't that lovely? It just creates a little boop of color and texture up here at the top. I'm gonna to go for an odd number. There you go. Now it really looks like the center and the petals of the flower. So what I have on this particular plate, I have strawberries. And let me talk to you about the strawberries. What we have noticed while catering is that people don't necessarily want to pick up an entire giant strawberry. So let me just demonstrate for you. They may not want to do this. Okay, not attractive, maybe you're on a date, I don't know, not a good look. So instead of doing that, what I've done is I've cut them in half, but I've kept the greenery. That way they can pick up the strawberry and pop half of it in their mouths and the other half is still there looking lovely. So that's a little trick to that. Also, if you're going to have grapes on a fruit tray, you want to put them in clumps of three or four, or in this case, five, and that way someone can get some grapes and they're talking and they're doing one at a time. What you don't want someone to have to do is stand there and try to rip grapes off one at a time off of a giant stem of grapes. So you want them to be more like this and less like this. While beautiful, not great for a party atmosphere. Not comfortable, not fun. Well, that was a little fun, so what do I know? Yeah, that's not funny. Then, I went ahead and sliced up the kiwi. Now, here's the deal with kiwi. Kiwi is beautiful. It is so green and it has this wonderful center of seeds. It just really pops in any display. But people don't necessarily want to eat it. It's the truth. If I do a fruit platter or a fruit bowl, 
the kiwi is what's left behind. And that's because a lot of the kiwi that you get in the grocery store is not actually ripe. I try to get the softest kiwi I can, which also creates problems when you're trying to peel and slice it. But if I'm just gonna use it for beauty, I just get one, do some slices and put it on there. Nobody complains. It's beautiful. So we're just gonna go with it. Butter and eggs and flour and lime and kiwi. Ki and kiwi, kiwi. Then another little trick I use is to get a full pineapple that has been peeled and cored. You can just get them in the prepared fruit section. And after that, you're just getting pieces of them, or sometimes they're just cored and they're not actually divided for you. These are already divided for me. So I can pull them out by the spear and then cut them up and they are so fresh, so much fresher than getting them out of a can because you know they've been canned at that point and they don't have that really great sharp pineapple taste that you want and it kind of has some more texture to it that just feels so great in your mouth and that's a good point about when you do put together a fruit platter you want things that are beautiful fresh will not brown as you leave out the platter so you notice there's no banana here because bananas would brown. There's no apple here. It's virtually impossible to keep an apple from browning in a situation like this. And then I've gone for some beauty over practicality. That would be the kiwi. And I've gone for mixing up the colors and kind of creating a pattern. And that's what makes your fruit board elevate from just plain to super good. Superman. Now let's talk about what other items you could add. You could add some cheese. Now, what I've noticed is people don't tend to go for the cheese with fruit, but every now and then there will be someone who will go, yeah, I'll have a little bit of a cheese with my grape, or I'll have a little bit of cheese with my berry. They might do that. Probably not though, so don't waste a lot of time and money on cheese. Just have a little bit of it in there. What they do like is chocolate. And the best kind of chocolate is a chocolate that will crunch when you bite into it because we have soft, soft, soft crunch. So this is a chocolate covered mini pretzel. I love these things. You can buy them by the bag, throw them on a platter, and it really just adds so much to this plate. Then, let's see, I've got the pineapple. I've got all my fruit going except for the blueberries. So when you get to this point and you're seeing some gaps, this is where you take things like blackberries, raspberries, those are really black raspberries, and you are blueberries, and I've been known to be pretty picky about my blueberries. I'm so blue -hoo -hoo, blue -hoo -hoo, blue -hoo -hoo. And you're just going along and filling in the gaps. Now, people are not going to pick up blueberries by the handful, like they might strawberries. They'll kind of pick at it as they become more available. So you're using your blueberries for kind of a filler and a color more than eating. I've never seen anybody turn down a blueberry, <laughs> but they're not gonna just go for them like they would the grapes. They're not gonna pick up by, up by the handful. I see that I missed some blackberries over here, so I will add them in. There is no absolute pattern to this, only the pattern that you create. And if you don't have enough time to get this specific, just do the best you can. Just take out some mandarin oranges and put them in here and top them with blackberries. No one's gonna turn that down. They're not gonna go, well, I was gonna have a mandarin orange, but it wasn't in a pattern. Never gonna happen. Just go with what you can do. Thank you. It probably won't take as much time as you think to cut these strawberries in half, but if you don't have time, do the whole strawberry, especially if they're smaller. After that, pineapple, super fast. You know, if you're wanting to up your game with a fruit platter, you can just take the time and make little moments of it even more special than it would be. So go out and buy yourself some fruit for your next party. Get your platter ready and your footed stand bowl plate, and you will be ready to wow your next guests. Do you like, are you a fruitarian? But I wanted to talk about how you start your food tray. Food tray? <laughs> food tray? Food tray. As you can see, I've lost my ability to speak. Come on over. 
Now go make someone feel special today.